Oh, and welcome to another one of my videos. Today, this is another one of my do-it-yourself videos. Uh, today, we're going to open and set up the Roomba iRobot vacuum. So, let's go ahead and open this thing up and set it up. Okay, so to save time, I already cut the tape here already. So, let's go ahead and let's open this thing up. And I opened it the wrong side. <laughs> so here we go. So like I said, I, I kind of pre-opened it before this video. Just to save us a little time here. And, and there it is. This is the Roomba. And then this piece here is a uh, sensor, so it only goes where the sensor is placed. Or else this thing will just keep circling all over the place. <laughs> and there's the instructions, so let's go ahead and open that. And here's kind of a quick guide here. So let's go to number one. So let's go ahead and, um, oh, here's the sensor piece. And here's the plug. So go ahead and plug this in. And we'll take this over to the this is kind of where we're going to have it. So there we are. You normally want to put this on a flat surface. But we did see the green light go on when we plugged it in right here. Okay, so once you download the app, you're going to open it up, and then you're going to look for your selected uh, robot, or Roomba. In our case, we're going to select the Roomba, and then it's giving us a checklist. So yes, we did set up the charging station, and then we plugged in the robot, and now it wants us to go to the Wi-Fi password. So in an area with good Wi-Fi coverage on a hard level surface against a wall with a clear path for Roomba. So I did that. And then we're just going to name it uh, Roomba or whatever. You can name it whatever you like. So you hit that. And then it asks for the coverage. So you'll see your... And then we'll add the... Um, password in there. So I'll go ahead and do that now for my Wi Fi. Okay. So then it's going to ask if you press the two buttons, which I already did. So now it's going to search for a robot. So give it a moment here. Okay, and it says leave the iRobot home app, go to phone settings and Wi Fi. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so like I stated, 
you make sure you have the Wi-Fi light on and now once it searches for your um, Roomba it will give you a voice indicating that it was found on the Roomba vac. You'll hear a robotic voice. And you can see right there. And you just also heard the Roomba in the background as well. So now we're going to hit continue. And then as you can see there, it's uh, ready to clean. Um, it's almost at 100% charge. So I'll go over the next steps uh, after it's charged. So it has different settings here. You could check the history. So it's already done been running 29 minutes, three jobs, and zero dirt event counts. Now if we go back, this is all the schedules, so you could set it to whatever schedule you you like. In our case, you know, we'll probably do maybe two days a week or something because we really keep the place pretty clean so we don't worry about too much dirt around here so and then here's some other settings like uh, has the different sounds and everything but of course it won't let me set anything because it's cleaning right now so and it's also in uh, robot language English Wi-Fi settings and then if you want it to reset everything you just go to factory reset right here and that will reset it back to where it was like when you open the box so really cool this thing has really come a long way so let's go ahead and uh, this watch the excitement of this robot cleaning Okay, so let's say that you didn't want this to go past like this door here. So what you would do is put this on one side. First off, you would set it to this setting here, the sensor, make sure it's flashing. And then uh, you would put it like on the one side of the door like that. And what this will do as you can see in the, in the picture, it'll go directly, it'll make, it'll stop the vacuum from going past this line. It builds a, an imaginary like force field or whatever for the uh, vacuum so it don't go past that doorway. But you have to set it like right there. Or, let's say if you don't want the Roomba to run into the bowls, then you would set it to this setting here on the bottom and there it shows a pattern where it will sense the two bowls and it'll just go around it it won't even hit the bowls or anything so it's pretty cool and then this is the off button okay so let's go ahead and look inside the vacuum compartment the iRobot compartment so this is all the dust it has picked up as you can see there and it did a really good job here 
because a lot of the dog's kibbles were like all over the place. And everything is pretty much picked up. So now it's in here. So I'm going to go ahead and dump this out. So, right here. And look at all that. It's actually pretty good. I've had a bunch of these uh, Roombas in the past. Let me tell you, man, these things have come a long way. You know, like the first one I had, it barely picked up anything. But these Roombas today, uh, they pick up a lot of stuff now. I mean, I, I mean, look at this. It's, it's totally clean. So, there you have it, man. <laughs> Okay, so I hit the button to return home. So let's just go ahead and uh, I don't know how it's going to react yet. This is my first time. So it looks like it's kind of still vacuuming. So we'll see if it returns home. Okay, let's say if you want it to go back, you just hit stop or end now or resume and then if you want to send it home you just hit send home okay so we're kinda of watching this so I believe it's gonna try to return home here it goes. And there we are. It returned home. And everything is clean. So there you are. So again, this was actually a very easy setup. I think the hardest part of uh, setting the Roomba up was kind of the uh, Wi-Fi app part. But you have to just be very patient um, and you know you just have to you know you just have to keep trying and then eventually you know things work out and it looks like it worked out for the best and uh, there you are it's uh, back home and it's recharging again so if we just go back to our app it looks like it's it's uh, charging again and I my next schedule for next time will be 4 p.m. Uh, Sunday so again thank you very much for watching my videos and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so thank you very much take care